They're living in their own world, and it's really hard to understand the world that they live in. And you just try to bring them back to the person that you knew somehow. Memories do that. Music can do that. Art can do that. Our latest opportunity, Art and Mind, is personal to me. My mother suffered from dementia and passed away just three years ago. It was at that time that I found the James Museum, and I can tell you personally, I understand its healing power. The James Museum provides experiences that inspire human connection and transformation through our art. Our founders chose this location because of their deep connection to our community. Our goal is to have every resident and visitor to Tampa Bay walk through our front doors. Just last year, we welcomed over 900 visitors to our museum, thanks to the Art for All Fund. And since we have opened our doors, we have welcomed over 300 school and youth groups with over 9,000 students who have learned about our shared history and have heard stories that may not have been told. We're proud of our partnership with USF in developing the Art and Mind program that's gonna impact so many people in our community. The USF Honors College is really excited to be partnering with the James Museum to provide this opportunity to our students and to the community. Our vision is for assisted living facilities to partner with the museum to bring groups of clients here where our Honors College students will then provide that therapeutic interaction with art. And the students will serve as guides and facilitators in the museum's collection, introducing individuals to works of art and to methods of conversation around that work of art that can help stimulate memory and allow those folks to connect with parts of themselves that may otherwise be lost. The methods that we use have been shown at other museums and through rigorous research to improve mood, boost cognition, help with communication, all things that would be very beneficial for people with an Alzheimer's or dementia diagnosis. The James Museum is particularly well situated to meet the needs of a growing population in Florida of people diagnosed with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. I believe that students who complete the Art and Mind program will come out of it having honed those soft skills that prepare them to be better citizens, better neighbors, better sons, daughters, brothers, sisters to folks in the community. These are real people. It's not just a diagnosis on paper, but a real human being with a rich life story that the students will get to know by virtue of their interaction with this program. A fund has been started by Sandy and Dick Averett in memory of their friend, Judith Crowding, who passed away from Alzheimer's last year. Judith's husband, Ed, was Dick's roommate at Duke, so they have a long connection. They recall how in the end, Judith was unable to talk or care for herself, yet she always had a smile on her face. It is their hope that others will join them to create a place for people with Alzheimer's and dementia to be able to come and experience the beauty of art that will bring a smile to their face. Human connection, that is what the James Museum provides through our programs like Art for All, Art in Mind, and our other partnerships. That is what the James Museum provides through our art, special exhibition, and programs. We have a bright future ahead, and the donors today are really gonna be creating our tomorrow, and we are so grateful.